Hi, and welcome to my channel in this video. For those of you who are new here, people call me Anne, and I identify as a grey airways. My mission with this channel is to educate the world on everything aromantic and asexual. If you have been sent this video, it means that the person who sent this to you is on the asexual spectrum. This means that they feel little to no sexual attraction, maybe only due in certain circumstances, like after a deep bond has been formed. This might also include a repulsion in sexual actions, but it doesn't have to. I bet you have loads of questions you want to ask your asexual friend at this point, but I'm gonna stop you right there. Please don't go hunting after your friend with questions, they are not obligated to educate you about their asexuality. Wait until you've been given a green light from them, research right here on YouTube or the internet. I've left some good channels and websites below, also feel free to browse my channel after answers. Just like being gay or a lesbian, asexuality is not a choice. It's not a sickness or because something traumatic happened. It is not just a phase. Asexuality is a sexual orientation, just like all others, and deserves to be recognized as one. Being asexual is not the same as being aromantic, which means that you experience little to no romantic attraction. They might be aromantic as well, but that's not for sure. Just because this person is asexual doesn't mean that they will end up alone. Believe it or not, a romantic relationship without sex do actually work out, and they will be happy even without sex. Another thing I want to clear out for the parents watching this video is that it's not a given that an asexual want or doesn't want to have children. If they do, there are other ways to have a child other than through sex and giving birth. And if they don't, it's up to them. It's their body, their life and their choice. They aren't obligated to give you grandchildren. Either way, it's their life and they choose how to live it. You only have to accept them and deal with it because it's not up to you to decide. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions regarding aromanticism, asexuality or anything in between, feel free to reach out to me, links are in the description. That was everything for today's video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you the next time. Bye!